Dear friends, dear supporters of Jewish values and of the associated universal values, dear hosts, dear Rabbi Botech. In 1943, Anne and I were sitting on the terrace on the top of the Frank's apartment where we used to have our most intimate conversations. Dreaming, we were speaking about all kinds of things. And as girls do, daydreaming. Dreaming of America and of actors and actresses such as Shirley Temple and Diana Durbin. They were our idols from before the war. Today I'm on Broadway and I'm reliving, reliving all these dreams and discussions. If history had been different, Anne and I might have traveled together to America at some point. The America we daydreamed about, the place of liberty. Anne would have been thrilled to know that an Oscar winning actor one day came to my house to get inspiration for his part in the American film based on her diary, playing her father, Otto Frank, and me recently shaking hands with our King William Alexander when he assisted the opening night of the spe spectacular new play, Anne, in a brand new theater in Amsterdam, especially built for this play. My husband Ruth and I have just come from Europe, where we have been celebrating 70 years of liberation and of the rebirth of liberty in Europe. 70 years of peace, which the Allies ultimately made possible for us. Ruth, as a child, has been in hiding to do during the occupation. When I woke up this morning, on the fifth, up, up in the morning, on the 5th of May, 1945, it felt as the happiest day of my life. I wanted to forget the war and enjoy the freedom that came at last but I couldn't close my eyes for the fact that none of the members of my family, nor Anne and my other friends had come back. They all perished in the Holocaust that had come over the Jewish people. After the war, Anne's father gave me the farewell letter Anne had written to me before she left. He found a letter in her diary and ends her letter by saying, I hope we'll always be best friends until, I be, until we meet again. The moment I read this, I knew already that she hadn't survived. Anne's diary has become an important document. It demonstrates what can happen when racism and anti-Semitism are per pushed to the extreme. I knew that having been Anne's friend, I could contribute to this message by writing and talking about our friendship. At first I hesitated. I wanted to keep my own identity and not, not go on living my life as Anne's best friend. But at last I decided that I had to write and speak to, to, for her, who could not write and speak anymore. As I accept this award to tonight, I must share it with Anne, an important part of her story we witnessed together. May I wish you all the best for your mission. There is still a lot of work to be done. Thank you.